Historically, full frame cameras take photos like this. It's a rolling shutter. It basically captures an image by exposing row by row of pixels. But the problem with this is that you get the jello effect. If you pan quickly or you take a photo of a fast moving object, the image will be warped. The solution is something called a global shutter. It takes a photo like this. Every pixel is exposed at the same time. And Sony just released their very first full frame mirrorless camera to have this $5,999 A9 Mark III. Impressive specs incoming. It can shoot 120 frames per second, 14-bit raw photos for 192 frames with real-time autofocus, insane. It has flash sync at any shutter speed, unheard of. And it has an insane max shutter speed of one over 80,000. Wow. So why doesn't every camera have a global shutter? Historically, they don't have great low light performance or incredible dynamic range, and it takes a lot of processing power to take a photo like this. But the M3, well, it's got the processing power and uh, speed is the utmost importance. I'm Becca, I'll see you in the next one.